but a handful of individual representatives who voted against this package. End quote. It is for these reasons that I ask you to clearly identify the culprits and hold them accountable. Indeed, if Bosnia and Herzegovina cannot end school segregation because Dayton gives it no competencies to do so, where should the finger be pointed? Likewise, if only 22% entity voting deputies block the law on the census, refusing the Eurostat recommended disaggregated data, should the 78% majority who voted for the census be equally blamed? Finally, if we do not create a Supreme Court, as you and the Venice Commission tell us we should, is the blocked majority to blame? Ladies and gentlemen, please tell us clearly what the European standards are. And I, for my part, pledge that I will entirely accept those standards, as I did in the past. I'm certain that I speak for a clear majority of the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina here. There are those who say that they would choose an ethnocracy and its institutions over Europe. It is true. But should such views be relevant in today's Europe? In fact, I may ask a question. Is today, today's Europe substantively different from Europe 60 years ago? Are we now only declaratively in favor of the rule of law, human rights, democracy, but still harbor respect for brute force? And that's not only Bosnia-Herzegovina. Do we condemn genocide through a verdict of the International Court of Justice, but do nothing to eliminate its results? I hope that we are not such a Europe. I hope that we are a Europe in which international court of justice judgments are implemented and not left in the archives of that court. I hope that we are a Europe that realizes that in the long run, values will always win against short-sighted, pragmatic interests or political expediency. I could quote this judgment of the International Court of Justice to remind you what values are at stake. But instead, I will quote my good friend, late Lord Russell Johnston, whose account of the Srebrenica genocide is almost identical to that of court seven years later. He said, and I quote, Almost 10,000 husbands, fathers, and sons, some only 10 or 11 years old, even babies, were killed in a five-day-long spree of homicidal madness committed by the Bosnian Serb troops under the command of Ratko Mladic, an indicted war criminal who is still at large. End quote. While we applaud the recent arrest of Radovan Karadzic, the fact remains that some of the institutions that the ICG judgment explicitly identified as perpetrators of genocide are still in existence. We also applaud the re revision of the indictment against Karadzic, which now includes two counts of genocide across Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that is ahead of us now. And against both Bosniaks and Croats. Finally, considering that the International Court of Justice judgment is the first and only judgment under the Genocide Convention in history so far, I hope that this assembly will consider 
its implications. And I expect that. Dear friends, we have not forgotten the help we received from many of you. And for that, we thank you once again. However, without a comprehensive reform of the Dayton Constitution, little progress will be made, threatening peace and stability in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the region. I hope that the monitoring process will continue and that we can also count on the continued help of the Venice Commission in this regard. Rule of law is important as it regulates and otherwise, as we can see, chaotic world. And we need such regulation more than ever. It is not only the financial regulation that we need in this world. There must be a notion that justice exists and people must be able to believe in it. It is very important. Finally, I hope that we can count on you to identify those who are committed to Europe of the 21st century versus those whose thinking is still dominated by the 16th century idea of ethnic fiefdoms. Ironically, Bosnia and Herzegovina was for centuries an authentic multi-ethnic, multicultural society whose unique fiber was almost destroyed through mass slaughter, rapes, torture, abuse, expulsion and plunder at the end of the last century. Helping us reverse the effects of those crimes to build a modern constitutional state, democratic state, that is true to its multi-ethnic character will make both Bosnia and Europe a better place. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mesdames et messieurs, merci beaucoup. La ringrazio sinceramente. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much to you, Mr. President, for your statement. And